Hello guys and welcome to So Vacuum Do It's Part. Today is pantry day and this is what we're working with. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I have a lot of boxes down here. I have some in the entryway and then like three out in the garage so I'm gonna bring them in but first I'm just gonna clear all this out. So when uh, my mom and mother-in-law were helping me move everything in. I was just like, throw it in because we had so much going on. I was like, just get it in there and then I'll deal with it later. Um, and now it is later. So I'm going to pull it all out, <laughs> probably get it clean a little bit and then organize it and get it put back in. And hopefully it looks like a thousand times better. One more thing that I'm probably going to have Chase work on today. If you see him like in the background on my video, they happen to put this stopper here, which I get they don't want it hitting the wall, but then it won't open all the way. And I just want the door to open. Like it drives me nuts that it's like stuck there and I can't just like leave my pantry open. So I'll probably have him fix that just in case you see him like removing the door or something. <laughs> I swear we belong, I'm still hanging on But something brings me back to you Back to you, back to you, back to you Back to you, back to you, back to you That took a little longer than I was expecting. So at the beginning I had a system. I was trying to keep like all my organizers together, which I did. So when I'm putting stuff away, I know what I have. <laughs> and then I was trying to do like stuff to do baking with. And then I was like, I've just got to get it out. So I am going to declutter a lot of this because I feel like I haven't seen this in forever. <laughs> There's probably a lot in here that's just gone bad, like open containers. Um, so if it's been opened and it's old or the day I'm going to toss it kind of as I put it back in But here is what the pantry's looking like. So it's empty Other than that one because it's heavy So when it's time to move it, I'll move it then but I just don't want to move it out to have to put it back in um, So when it gets overwhelming like this and there's a lot to do I just start with the pieces I know and what I do know is this is for all my small appliances so I'm gonna get those out of the box or wherever they are and get those filed away and then I'll move on to the next thing. taken care of now if you can tell I love the beautiful brand from Walmart beautiful 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 <laughs> so one two three four five things just right here I think they have an amazing line it's affordable and I feel like it looks so nice so we had these custom made just so we could keep all of that there and I could actually get to what I needed instead of it being like up in cabinets that I couldn't reach I'm just walking around trying to figure out where to begin. I think the best spot is, is just to clear out as much as I can and then start organizing it. So basically when this got packed, I wasn't at my house. I was here working with different workers here at the house. So like my f entire family, like dads, 
mom's, all of that, like Chase's side, my side, we're just like throwing it in boxes to get it over here. So it's like a jumbled mess. Some of it's organized, some of it's not. So I'm gonna start just trying to make sense of it. Luckily, this pantry is designed or set up a lot like our last house. It's just deeper, so it's a little bit bigger, but at least it's the same shape, so I kind of have an idea of what I want. I've just got to go through all of this food and make sure it's not expired, it's not bad. Um, you're gonna see I have bought a lot of overflow items. I think 2020 scared me because I don't cook a lot and I wanna make sure my family always has groceries. So anything I can buy up that's not gonna expire anytime soon that we love to eat, like pasta. I can eat pasta any day, all day long. So I bought a ton of that up. You're gonna see like instant mashed potatoes. We really don't eat those at all during the week, but it's something if we had to, it's easy to make. You just add water. We've got tons of like canned food. So you're gonna see we're pretty stocked up. And that way when we need to cook, we have everything we need right here. And we don't have to like run into town always. I'm a big believer in these like can risers. Um, if you can get some, grab them. It's just so nice that you can see everything that you have. They come in different colors. I obviously prefer the clear, the acrylic, but definitely invest in those or ask for them for a gift or something because they really do help you see everything that you have. So when they put in our um, organization here in the pantry, we got to decide like a lot of it. Like I told them the few things I wanted, but they went ahead and put dividers in, which is kind of nice. It breaks up the food. So I think maybe that's why I'm using less like organizing bins is it's kind of like organized within itself. Um, it's taken me a little while to figure this out. You're gonna see that as we go through this video. Even today, like this is weeks later that I'm actually editing it and um, doing these voiceovers. I think I'll have to tweak it again one day, but I'm just not sure what it is yet, but something still feels a little off to me.
I did a lot of rearranging in this space, um, just trying to make sure it was right, trying to make sure it functioned well, but it was also visually pleasing, which can be really hard. I feel like I love to organize, but when it comes to organizing a pantry or a refrigerator, I just can't do it. It's kind of like with decorating. I love to decorate, but when it comes to like a centerpiece, like on a coffee table or dining room table, it's just not my thing. So it's so funny that I love to do those two things, but there's just areas that I cannot do. I wish there was someone in my area and I'm sure there is. I'll have to find if there's like a local organizer because I'm sure they can do this space so much better. I'm not gonna lie, I think just being in the house too is gonna help. Just like being in and getting to figure out what works best. I was in this mad panic just to get unpacked. Like I hate being in limbo, so I just wanted everything to have a home here. And then as we've been here, like as of right now when I've been filming this, we've been here about a month and I've already made like little tweaks to every space because now we're living here. I can see how things function for us, how they work for us. So I think that's how it's gonna be with this pantry. Like it looks really good now. You're gonna see the end, it is beautiful. But I think as I live here over the years, I'll tweak it and make sure it's perfect for us. Okay, I wanted to pop in and do a little checkup of like where we are. So most of it, I need to throw that away. Um, most of it's gone, like this isn't going back in. That was just leftover stuff from um, when they were working here. That needs to go in a different space. These are basically all extra containers. I do need to put his coffee in there. Um, as you can tell, I'm not really using bins like I did in the last one, which I wasn't expecting that. I actually bought more. Um, I love the way this looks and I kind of wanted this way pretty so like when people walk in here to get something that looks nice but what I'm trying to do is make this look nice so if this gets left open and you see it but I'm really struggling like I have all I have plenty of bins I'm just trying to figure out where to put like all the snacks and all the stuff for baking and still make it look very pleasing to the eye so i'm not gonna lie if you ever get in a project like this and you just get stuck so do i and that's where i am right now so i'm just trying to like process it and figure out what i need to do
if it's been a while since you've worked on your pantry or your pantry area I know um, two houses ago we didn't have a pantry and I just made a cabinet space into it I actually have a video here on YouTube that's like no pantry no problem definitely check that out if you're needing tips for that um, but if you have a pantry or just a pantry space or an extra hall closet you can use or coat closet get in there I hope this gives you motivation to like rip everything out and organize it and make it look nice so you can enjoy it with the upcoming week It doesn't look like we're making progress, but we are. Anytime you're working on a space, I swear it destroys like two or three others. The other thing is, is I'm taking everything out of containers for the most part, which is weird. So I bought more and then I'm not using the ones I were, so they're like everywhere. Um, but I was just in here and I could not make it work. I knew what it was, but I didn't want to do it. And basically I loved how pretty this wall was. But when you actually look in at it, I couldn't make it look pretty. So I decided to go ahead and just switch it all. So I put this back over here um, and it's looking so much better. So I'm trying to hide the things that aren't as pretty like chips and bread and snacks. But then when you open the door, you see the pretty stuff, which is like the canned food and all the boxes. So we're finally making progress. I'm almost done. I just have a few more things to put away um, and then I need to like clean all of this up and then I'll do a full tour. I think it's funny I didn't use as many clear containers and maybe I did I'll look at it maybe there's just a few things I took out but I do like them better than being in like a cardboard box so this is Chase's extra um, coffee <laughs> coffee pot so I rather be sitting in my pantry like this than in this box so it just kind of takes some of the color out guys I think we finally finished <laughs> it feels so good I did want to show you just all the storage containers I'm not using just in case you're curious so these are all different brands they're not like the home edit so I think I'm gonna go ahead and let those go so I have them separated and then over here are all my home edit ones um, these aren't these normally go underneath my seat but they didn't fit this time I could scratch that off so all of these probably all of them I'm not going to get rid of until I'm completely moved in but after that I'm going to keep these just so I don't have to rebuy them later so what I think I'm going to do is have Chase just put them like we have these shelves way up high so they're out of the way but if I need them they're up there and I don't have to rebuy them <laughs> but here is how the pantry turned out I think it turned out so good. I'm so happy with it. <laughs> this is about day four of our move. And this has been such like a stressful area. I've just kept the door shut. I did not want to go in there <laughs> with family and Savvy's friends come over. I'm like, be careful. Everything's going to fall on you. So it's just so nice to get it back organized and to have a system. Um, and I think it's going to work well. I mean, this is one of those spaces. Sometimes you have to have an itch to switch once you're actually living in your house to make sure everything's working. But um, it does look good. I know we keep a lot of like 
of these mashed potatoes and pancakes but ever since like 2020 I get paranoid and that stuff I can just make super easy with like water so I like to keep that on hand um, especially stuff like spaghetti and I would eat spaghetti every single night if I could so I always keep a lot of that on hand and then Savannah loves to bake um, so I used to keep tons of cake mixes but lately she's been cooking more from like scratch or baking more from scratch so that's been fun so I try to keep like all the baking supplies in here. So when she wants to, we can just do it immediately. We don't have to go into town to buy things, but I could definitely fill it up more as you can see. But for us, this is just about right. And then over here are all the small appliances that I can actually get to myself whenever we need them. And then the ones Savannah uses the most, I kind of put right here so she could get to them. But I'll say she's probably taller than me now so she can probably reach higher. Just keep on Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you wanna see how this like ended up now that we've been here a month or so, I am gonna be filming like a furnished home tour. It should be going up, I think in August, maybe the beginning of August, because I feel like I've made tweaks to every space. So definitely make sure on the lookout for that. But we have a few more videos coming up. We have a movie room, a patio, um, our office makeovers. So we have all of that and then the furnished home tour. So we've still got so much to get through in this house, but I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely hit that thumbs up, share it with someone that will enjoy it. It helps me out so much. And then make sure yourself that you're subscribed here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.